All right, here we are. And I just offloaded the pallet off of the uh, freight truck. And this is the way you should expect to receive this tank. This is the main auxiliary tank, uh, main replacement tank, I should say. Um, it's a 30 gallon tank. It is the Toyota FJ Cruiser replacement tank, uh, 115 liters, straight from Australia. Um, and it is the long range automotive. This is uh, the beginning of this review of this product. Uh, this product can be purchased by Cruiser Brothers and we'll go in a whole bunch of detail about that later on. I wanted to just let you know what you should expect when you receive it and we're going to do some unpacking here, kind of like an unboxing part of the video. Um, not very heavy, but they will charge you extra if they have to have a drop gate tr truck instead of a standard truck. So I used my tractor with the forks to basically lift it off the truck. Um, and that wasn't any problem whatsoever. So very easily um, inspected. Uh, and it appears at this time without taking the bubble wrap off that everything has made it from Australia safely. Uh, they do stop obviously in California where Cruiser Brothers is located at. And this shipment came to um, via YRC. And they did a, looks like they did a good job shipping it. So. We're gonna take this bubble wrap off and show you some more. All right, so I have the fuel tank all unpacked and the bubble wrap off with the bandits off of it. The uh, skid was a little bit compromised, but uh, that's to be expected as forklifts index in and out of them as they loaded on the truck. But the good thing is, is the tank is not damaged. It does have a couple scratches on it. That's to be expected. Um, I did make sure, and I would suggest this to you also, that you roll it over uh, on its side so that you can ex uh, inspect the belly um, so that right away you have a full uh, picture of the uh, condition of the unit as it gets to you. So it has a, another box, and in that box it has a bunch of hoses and the instructions. There is an upgraded version of the instructions that is available from Cruiser Brothers. They've done quite a bit of work to basically show you uh, exactly how to do this. Um, so definitely you're gonna wanna get that from them. Uh, they most likely will send that to you. And then just right off the bat, I just wanna really make sure to uh, say right from the start that Ward Harris has been just really instrumental and just a pleasure to work with with ordering this tank and just uh, you know basically answering all the details because the project is a little intimidating um, to do this and there is a, a few concerns that you should address uh, when deciding to do this tank and one of those uh, concerns that I had was basically making sure to upgrade the fuel pump while I was at it. Um, that was passed on to me uh, by another uh, FJ fellow FJ owner, and I'll probably mention his name later in this video. Um, but he has been very, very helpful to give me more details. And so this right here, this high flow uh, in-tank fuel pump, it is the E85 AE AEM version. Uh, this is a kit that you can get from Underdog uh, Racing, and uh, let me make sure I'm, I'm getting that right. I have the receipt over here. Uh, so, Underdog Racing Development. Um, so, that is the fuel kit, and uh, I'm actually going to read you the, um, the particular details of the fuel kit that I received here. It has my address on there. That's no big deal because that's our business address for Triad Holsters. Um, that's where we had it sent. So um, it is the URD 2010 Plus Toyota FJ Cruiser fuel p filter upgrade kit. And then I selected a little bit of an upgrade, a $29 upgrade to the kit, which is the AEM 320 LPH pump. And that also specifically is the E85 compatible pump. I'll never be running E85, but a good friend of mine that 
uh, does a lot of uh, engine builds. He, uh, he highly suggested getting that just because of kind of like future proofing. And then just really it's just a little bit more of a robust pump. And so that was his suggestion to get that. Also, uh, the drivetrain is going to be the uh, center drive shaft is going to be rear drive shaft is going to be dropped. So I went ahead and picked up some of these Moog uh, 285 um, Moog U joints. These are the heavy duty version. So there is a couple different versions. Um, so definitely look up that part number. But I elected to go with the heavy duty version. They are a little more expensive, but not much. Um, so that's the 285 and the cool thing is is that the 285 for 2010 plus FJ cruisers does the rear drive shaft and also the front drive shaft so they're they're very universal those so there's actually a total of four of those that are used underneath the FJ so I will most likely order another one of these uh, just to have as a spare and then another tool that I got to basically help me with the u-joint is this uh, tiger tool automotive u-joint puller and then there's another device that actually helps seat your cups and that's uh, kind of like a, a fancy seat clamp so kind of getting back to the tank i uh, just wanted to give you those details as far as how we're starting off this project and kind of show you around the build quality is excellent uh, for this tank and uh, you can definitely tell that they put a lot of design and uh, care into what they build here um, so the next step that we're going to do is we're actually going to run this over to the shop that i'm going to be uh, cooperatively installing this tank in over at rc enterprises as you've seen before and then also uh, i'm going to be running this over to line x of troy and for those of you that are local here in ohio line x of troy is a, a really good place to go to uh, get things line xed because they're not scared to do other projects outside of just truck beds they do all kinds of different things and so to basically better protect this tank both from corrosion and i believe even puncture because there is a little bit of durability to line x that uh, it will act as a sacrificial layer um, and that if this does get up against something that wants to scrape that line x off that will be better than it possibly trying to puncture or gouge the tank itself so that is a thought i'm gonna pack this up in the fj and put it in the back and get heading that way Thank you. 